Oikikos, den ties almalmos. Unnerki op rooi vlees, selfs een snoepkes the first thing you need to manage your fire properly is of course a fire. You can use any commercial fire lighter. A friend of mine makes her own. She dries out used tea bags and then she drips candle wax on them and uses that and they work quite fine. Um, you can get very expensive eco-friendly fire lighters. I normally go to the supermarket and just buy the cheapest one because what the heck you're going to burn it up anyway. So let's start the fire. The next thing you need is wood, charcoal, or something else that'll burn. Now my, my personal favorite are briquettes. The reason why I use briquettes is because they burn evenly. You can control them. And if you count the amount of briquettes you put on your fire, you normally know how hot it's going to be or not. So you throw your briquettes in. on the side of the fire and then using a pair of tongs you pack them around your fire lighters. Let's go. Now there are some purists out there who say that you can only make a poiki on wood. I don't agree. It doesn't matter how you warm the poiki up, the magic happens inside the pot. And I defy anybody to tell me that a pot made on wood, charcoal, gas, or briquettes is different. You, you can't taste the difference. Get a fire that you can control, and hey, your poiki will be a success. Now, how do you know if these briquettes are right? You've got to wait until they turn white. So we're going to give them a couple of minutes, normally about 10 minutes, then we'll come back put the pot on and I'll show you how to control the heat. Now our briquettes have turned a nice sort of grey white. That took about 10 minutes. Now it's time to put the pot on the fire. Make sure you don't disturb your briquettes when you put the pot on. Make it stand quietly and then you wait. What you're looking for inside your pot is a nice little simmer. If it boils too much you're going to burn your food. If it doesn't boil or simmer at all, your food's not going to cook. So you're looking for just a slight bubbling inside the pot and that will tell you you're at the right temperature. If you need to put new briquettes on, take the pot off. Put on two or three briquettes. Never more than three or four briquettes at a time. Otherwise, you smother the already burning briquettes and it takes another half an hour before your fire is warm again and then it'll be too warm. So just two or three briquettes just to keep it going and make sure you've got that simmer all the time and pretty soon you'll have a lovely pot. There's one other trick I want to show you and that is how to turn your pot into an oven. If your pot is standing there you need heat from the top. What do you do? Very simple. Take a briquette from the bottom and you put it on the lid. And another one, and another one, and another one, until you have four or five briquettes at the bottom and four or five briquettes at the top. And lo and behold, you have an oven. Try that with your wife's fancy French cookware. You'll get such a smack, it's not even funny. Right, off you go. Go and manage your heat. It's not difficult. See you next time. Yeah, I'm almost. Oh, no, he's a great place. Tell us, Lucas.